Hi everyone, welcome to Coffee Table Talks. Mm, that's good. Well, this is our last installment of What's So Great About the Bible? Today I'd like to talk to you about three things and just kind of put this all together about what's so great about the Bible. Uh, we've been pointing out Psalm 119, 162. I rejoice at your word as one who finds great treasure. I have always thought as a pastor, if, if I could just get people to rejoice at God's word, if I could just get people to understand the word of God and, and how amazing it is and uh, how valuable it is and, and to the point where, where people would just be rejoicing uh, over it. And that's uh, something about our church fellowship is just to see when we gather together and we open up our Bibles and to see the joy on people's faces and to see um, the excitement, the hunger for the word of God is just such a blessing to me. And, and I know when a person gets hooked on the word of God, I know the ramifications of that. I know that it's going to change their life. I think about all the things that have changed in my life and how God's worked in my life. But just, just because it, that the Word of God is truly the Word of God and, and, and it's truly a light into our path and it's truly something that we can count on and live by. Um, so just want to bring out a few more points that I think will be really helpful to you. Uh, number one, uh, the Bible tells us that the Word of God, when we hide it in our heart, it keeps us from sin. Now, you may say, well, why is that important? Well, sin is destructive. There's no two ways about it. Uh, sin is, is a destroyer. Sin is a tool that Satan uses. Sin is darkness. Sin is everything we don't want. Uh, sin oftentimes is, is posed as fun. Uh, something that will give things to our life, something that will enhance our life. And I just want to tell you that um, that's actually the ap opposite of what sin is. Uh, you may not realize how deeply sin can affect you. It may have gotten used to sin in your life. You, you may have gotten comfortable with it. And uh, that's very, very dangerous. And I want to tell you that there's so much more for you. And so uh, the first thing is, Sin is so destructive that Jesus had to come and save us from it. Uh, we had no way to be saved uh, out of our own sin. So God himself actually had to be sin, take our sin in our place and be judged for it. That's how bad sin is. Uh, and so the word of God helps us uh, as we hide it in our heart, uh, not to go into destructive patterns, not to uh, embrace things that are hurtful for us. And and God loves us so much. That's why uh, he forbids sin is because he says, you know, I, I, I don't want you to have destructive things in your life. I don't want you to be hurt. And, and so I'm, a, I'm going to help you. I'm going to give you the Holy Spirit and I'm going to wash you of all your sins. And then I'm going to empower you by your Holy Spirit, by the Holy Spirit to walk in holiness. Then I'm going to give you the word which feeds your soul. And as you feed your soul, you're able to um, walk in the spirit and not in the flesh. So that's one thing. Um, another thing is a lot of people don't realize that the word of God actually is how we're successful. So in Joshua chapter one, verse nine, it talks about uh, the word of God, talks about meditating on it, talks about um, how we do, when we do that, we will prosper and have good success. Now, don't make the mistake that God wants us to materially accumulate and have a lot. And, and being a Christian means we'll have a lot of material things. When we think that, we're not understanding that true riches are spiritual and in Christ. And if material things rob us or take the place of spiritual things in our life, then we're truly being ripped off because those things, uh, moth and rust will destroy really no happiness in material things. But what God is saying to Joshua is you med meditate on my word. You will be prosperous and successful, that you will be one who thrives in the things that are really important. And in life, you'll actually be successful because be walking in my ways, which that is true success. That is true fulfillment. And that is true blessing. And then 
The last thing I want to point out is the word of God is encouragement. Man, do we need encouragement. We get down, we get discouraged. Um, we need encouragement. As we get into the word, we get encouraged. And that means encourage actually means we're in God. We're in strength. We're in a place where we're right, or rightly relating with God. And so we're encouraged, we're blessed. When we're feeling down and discouraged, we get into God's word. It lifts our souls. It strengthens us in the Lord, and we have encouragement, which we need. We need encouragement from the Lord to keep going and get through those difficult times. So as we just bring this um, series to a conclusion, what's so great about God's word? I have could, could have gone on um, and talked about hundreds of things, but the bottom line is the word of God is such a treasure and such a gift that God has given us. It's actually him saying, this is my heart. This is how things work. This is what I want you to understand. It's coming right from eternity, right into your lap, right into your living room. And this is something you can bank on. You can trust in. You will never look back on your life and say, I followed the word of God and I'm disappointed. It let me down. The God, God's word will never let you down. Build your life on it. Use it as a tool to connect with God, relate to God, devote to God, and the word of God will be sufficient for everything that you need in your life. So what's so great about the Bible? Pretty much everything. God bless you guys.